Hey, check one. Hello, check one, two, three. Hey, check one, two, one, two, three. Check one. Hey, check. Hello, check one, two, three. Check, check one. Hey, come down a bit. Hello, check one, two, three. Check one. Hello, check one, two, one. Hey, check. Check, boss. Check. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. 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 It's about time. Can we at this point invite, invite the birthday boy to please come to the base of the cake. We'd like to have three more people join them here. Are we okay? Been deceiving, but now 
I'm gonna make you mine Say you want me You want me all to yourself Well I can't share your love With no one else My life's like an open book Only you can look I turn the face so that you can see I want you right here with me I wanna be that woman To do my best, baby, to keep this love of ours alive. I even tried to hide my feelings, but we can't fool the test of time.
Sunlight hurts my eyes And something without warning love Bears heavy on my mind Then I look at you And the world's all right with me Just one look at you And I know it's gonna be I love this day. Instead of me Always seems to know the way Then I look at you And the world's all right with me Just one look at you And I know it's gonna be A lovely day And when someone else instead of me Always seems to know the way Then I look at you And the world's all right with me I just want to look at you And I know it's gonna be
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening and back at the Salah to all our Muslim friends, even to those that don't give us ram. Um, the ram meat is very special in these times because in a few months it will be Christmas. We do not want to retaliate for something that you did to us now. Please bear in mind between now and Tuesday, redeem the ram in all ramifications. Your Excellencies, today we gather to celebrate an institution. An institution that has proven himself in professionalism, in relationships that is hard, in cultural values, in moral values, and above all, a man whose creativity speaks beyond question. So today, as we all gather to celebrate him, we'd like to start in a special way. Because he's a national icon, we will treat him as such. This celebration is not just a celebration for him, but of us, for all of us that are his friends, sons, brothers, colleagues. I look at his table and I can see, I just calculated the age of the people on his table is like one million. And then I look around him again and I see people much, much younger that are celebrating this icon because of who he is. And we're doing that in the Glover Hall, a representation of creativity and cultural values. Your Excellencies, you're all welcome. We would be starting in a very special way, like I said, and would like to ask all our guests to please take their seats. Egbo, um, Ejoko. would like the movements in the hall to quick to please be reduced as much as possible we are filming this and transmitting it live and this is one of the reasons that we've not been invited to anything that the queen organizes in london tori and joko sibiko we keep moving around and the queen will say what's happening why is so so please remain seated check and if you're just coming in, take the nearest seat that is close to the door so you don't come into the camera shots. Thank you very much. For those of you who want to go take a picture with uh, the celebrant, would like to ask that you do that quickly and go back to your seat, all right? If we're ready. So ladies and gentlemen, the opening act will consist of the national anthem, the pledge, and everything all together. So it will be one set, if we're ready. Yeah.
again, the opening act, scene one. House lights. Ah, Steve Rhodes.
we bow down our heads for a word of prayers. Father, indeed, we are thankful for such a day as this. A day, Lord, that we celebrate the birth and the glorious life of an icon. Father, an icon who has made immense impact upon the arts and cultural industry in Nigeria, Lord. An icon whose influence extends beyond the shores of our great country. An icon who has mentored and continues to mentor many. Father, we rejoice with him today. Thank you for such a life. Thank you for this living legend, O oh God. Let your blessings rest upon this house today. Let those who have come to rejoice with him also be blessed. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Bless this day, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. The Lord of all, Jehovah Nis, Ebu Bedike, Ola Biyarao, Moni Eya Tuda, Ini Ude Eya Tuda, Omi Duro Mi Eshewo. I will lift up your name. Come on, lift him high. Hey, hey. I will lift up your name, Jesus.
the pledge. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity, and uphold her honor and glory. So help me, God. Please be seated. The struggles of man begins at birth. It is meet then that our play begins with the birth of a child. The place, Abel Kuta, the land of the great Egba people. A baby has just been born to Prince Josiah Ogubono, Shodimeji of the Lupo Mosuleka ruling house, Ikija Abel Kuta, and his wife, Juliana Akoke. Arakede! It is a 
a baby boy, a true prince of Egba, born of a royal blood during the reign of Obaladepo Ademola II, a great grandson of Prince Ogubono Agboke Toyibo, who was a great grandson of Obalake Lupo Mosuleka, the ninth Alake, who was a son of Obalake Afitete Nobiri, the third Alake at Egba Homestead before the arrival in Abel Kuta in the year 1830. So they bring the baby for blessings at the shrine of Ogun, the god of war, of iron, and doctor of all male children. Then they call the priest of Ifa, as it is custom to divine the future that this boy has brought with him. I greet you. Father waits. Mother waits. Please tell them, what is it that this boy has brought as duty to this earth from the gods? What is it that this boy has brought as mission to this earth from the gods, Baba? Is that a word? I don't know a if I don't borrow for go day, and a miller to borrow Saco, you want love a mill of berry, you want your pomba and your pomba, or the monotu and your coronosi. I don't go, it up and go, dear, you bale or go there for Koyari, I love for you, not to the baby, not to be better. Ma follow no phone. Mm. Ma pa ni ko wi wa lo gere ta. Ah! A pa pi ya ka no. Eh? Eh o ti ri. Ah! O ti re. O lo ti ara re san. Eh o ti ri to fi joba. Oya. Tanuma. Dallas. We ah, I shall shall be there. I don't know you. You know I don't know you. Believe this boy. I know. 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 I
grind. Asha. Mark me. His stars shall attract and bear even more stars. Mark Asha. me. He shall be respected Asha. all over the land of men. Asha. Mark me. This child shall achieve great success Asha. in his chosen career. Asha. Mark me. He shall be king in his world Asha. for as long as he lives. Asha. Mark me. His name shall be on the list of all the greatest and best sons to have lived. Asha. Mark me, this child will represent excellence. Mark me, that on his path to greatness, he shall be blessed with a wonder woman of Asha. equal rank. Mark me, that all powers that be shall acknowledge his greatness and adorn him with honors. Amoke! Onubori ajabori, onda pesi ola. Amo ke. Onubori ajabori, onda pesi ola. Amo ke. Onubori ajabori, onda pesi ola. Amo ke. Two hundred holes could knight against thee. Amo ke. Two hundred cut glasses contrived against thee. Amo ke. Tio je, tio bawa. Oh, for Bobo Now you see where the story of the Lion King came from. Please give him another round of applause. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, capturing the life of this young boy, Olu Jacobs, will take a long time and a long representation of his achievements. But please, you bear with us as we take you on a documentary that would slightly, not totally, crystallize what he stands for 
and the reason why we are all gathered here. And it was put together by this, this boy that I brought up from uh, STB at the time, Femi Odubemi. Please give him a round of applause. Uh, by the way, this same Femi was the one that introduced me to a camcorder back in the days. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy this documentary. It will signpost why we are here. You're welcome. Good evening. By the way, this. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy this documentary. Brown, yes. What business do you have in Zengaro? I work birds and so on. Pictures of birds? Yes. In there. It is a joy to watch. Keith Brown. Oli Jacob's voice is different. How he paints words with those tones. That's what makes him special. Do you have a drinking problem, Mr. Brown? I thought there might be a... Having talent, I think, is like, um, like diamond. It's only, it's a mere glass when it's discovered. It's got to be polished, it's got to be washed, it's got to be polished, it's got to be shaped. And when you do that, men kill for it and women sell themselves for, for it. That's what talent, Olu's talent is, is like. So everybody, some people may have baritones, but because he's a trained actor and knows the magic of theater and knows how you can communicate and interpret the words, the ability to imbue words with their true meanings, he has that. And a lot of that is from being a trained actor. It goes beyond being talented. You, you need to see Uncle Jay work, okay? The beautiful thing about, about the stage play is that you start from rehearsals and you see the actor evolve. And you see him beginning to put all the nuances in his performance. And me, a younger person, I'm looking and, and watching and taking notes. airport tax because he's a showman he's an expensive person he's a joyous man he's in the pantheon of the theater gods of nigeria and i think of africa if you were to grow up in the lagos island there were two names that were always mentioned in the uh in the theater actually three but one of them was there with us you hear of names like ubato gunde so we know then you hear of Orlando Matthews, who was, I mean, was born in, the, in Lagos Island. Then there was always the name Olu Jacob, as one of those whose names who were already uh, pursuing their career abroad. And so they were like grand figures, like gods. Welcome to Zangaro. <laughs> Olu Jacob, Dongo Yaro, and I we were working for the same company called UAC Market Research Company. Because market research, we are doing research all over the country, but us mainly in the north, all over the north. 
we were put into a group which they called a special team group. And to be in that special team group, you must be an outside speaking. Your outside speaking language must be thorough. That group gave the three of us an extensive experience of what the North is. We talk all over the North completely. But interestingly, the three of us were always together, too thin and thick, because of Ulu. It's not the leader, it's not the supervisor, but it's the one given the instruction. It's the one we follow. Ulu has this affable character, loving character. It's always the glue, keeping us in tight, keeping us together, and making us go. And yet, to survive in market research, we are given some quota which you must achieve daily. 10, 11. All my years we spent in market research, I've never seen anybody, any, and this is true, anybody who can actually complete his quota on a daily basis. The quota you are given 10 and you bring 10, except Olu Jacobs. Olu Jacobs will complete his 10 and would assist us, we who cannot complete, to complete the 10. You may ask why. We have always been asking why. But it's so easy. We always look at him because his command, communication, is very thorough. It's above anybody. At the end of the third year, we decided that we come to the end of our sojourn with RBNL and we need to go for further studies in UK. As usual, Olu is a trip blazer. He was the first to really stepped out and went to UK. Getting to UK, our first attempt was marketing. So we did a three-year course in marketing. We finished the course successfully. Dogo Yaro decided I've had enough. He left for Nigeria for better future. I stayed behind. I said, I enrolled for statistics. But if you follow my, what I've been seeing, what I said, Oru is manifesting at the beginning. Every time we were in Nigeria as young people, controlling us, gaining access to this, having access to this, opening doors, his manifestation as a future artist is there. Only we don't know that that was he know. But when we go to UK, I think after that three, two or three years course in marketing, he called it quick, saying, no, 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 no. I'm going to do theater arts. And at the end of that development course, he just enrolled in a college for theater arts. I trained with him in England in actor studio. He and I were the two African in, in that pack. Yeah, in, 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 at that time. So training was, was important to us in our age. Uh, at our time. And then within five years, believe it or not, it's not only a local thing now, only it's been acting big, big movie, big film. His name is brand name. Ah! Ah! Benjamin Power of London, cotton sheep of tobacco or vanilla would be better. Ah! And who might you be, sir? Joseph Seraphin Amadeus Bumako. Bumako? Bumako. Ship's cook. Now what the devil are you doing down here? I am in Ayo's captain. <laughs> it has made for himself a prolific actor, a brilliant actor in UK and other places. At this time, it's five years, it's no more a joke. I bet you never thought when you bought the set you will have to call a native out of the jungle to repair it for you, eh? We had a show in Dublin, at the Dublin International Festival. The actors during the, the uh, Congolese crisis in the 60s, the big man, expansive, he played that. We, we, had, that, we had a show together and it was a very, very successful. It, so the play was uh, Murderous Angels. Murderous Angels. It was written by Irish diplomat, Conor Cruz O'Brien. It was a very emotional play. It was very popular. It was a, 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 
it shook Dublin. It shook the festival that year. We met before we met. I, 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 I first heard of him in England in 1981 when I got to England. I was in Wales. Uh, there was this BBC program at 6 p.m. It was an evening program for children. And um, I, I liked it. I liked his voice immediately because he used to play this um, almost like the um, storyteller. It was just before the celebrations of Nigeria's 21st anniversary. Miss Edith Enem was the artistic director of the National Theatre at the time, and they wanted to put up a production of Jero's Metamorphosis. And everybody was talking about this man who was coming from England called Olu Jacobs, that Olu Jacobs was going to play Jero. And, you know, they were, and the excitement that they all spoke you know, that this, with which they spoke about it. I was looking forward to meeting the Mr. Olu Jacobs. Um, we were in rehearsals one day at the main bowl, which was where we were, where, where we used to rehearse. And I was told to go call Miss Enem to come and take a look at what we had rehearsed. And as I opened the door, I just hear this incredible voice that goes, wow, this is the woman I'm going to marry. And I'm like, Who's, what kind of common line is that? And I looked him up and down and I thought, what rubbish. But he comes over to rehearsals and he was just such a wonderful person to work with. He was, I mean, he realized he had made a faux pas. And so he tried to get into my good graces after that. And we, came, we, we became extremely good friends. I know that um, uh, Bros Olu became very friendly with uh, my late husband, Tunde Oluyedi. And uh, I know that there was a point where um, uh, my husband had a production and he had to do post-production abroad. And he stayed with um, uh, uh, Brother Olu at that time. And I remember when he came back, he said to me that um, he had one or two conversations with him um, about, uh, about Joke. And I said, what sort of conversations? He said, oh, well, you know, we just, um, we just, I said, look, I have known Joke for a very long time, that Joke used to be a neighbor, that she used to stay with a family that was right next door to where my parents lived in Apapa at the time. I remember we lived at, uh, I think it was, for, was it 43 Cole Creek Road in Apapa, and they were in uh, 41. So I said, look, I have known Joke for a long time. This friend of yours, if he knows that he's not serious, he shouldn't mess about with my, with my sister. So he said, oh, no, 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 no. This, uh, I think, uh, I think this, is, this is really on the level. I said, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll watch and see. Well, we watched and we saw and we have seen. They got married. That marriage again. It's like Olu I know. It's a dramatic marriage. Everybody was getting answers. Time was fixed. Joke was there. Parents were there. Friends were there. Olu was not there. One hour, Olu was not there. Two hours, Olu was not there. The priest came out, started talking. Me, I was getting scared. What has Olu done? Has he gone back? He apologized profusely. What happened? He said, well, they parted into the early hours of the day. They all fell asleep. And the people who were supposed to wake him up, when he woke up, I think our, our service was at 10. He woke up at 9.30. He woke up at 9.30 and just started screaming. He said he just started screaming and waking everybody up. Like, we're late, we're late, we're late. No, nobody had a bath. But when he came, Alighted from a car like a king with unusual ways and with this big smile, he's always capturing people with his big smile as he, and he's swaggering again. Everybody melted, everybody hugging. Nobody cares about his lateness again, and that is how it goes. My husband, he had always said he was going to get married in a cloak. So when the, <laughs> when the design came, the person who had the train was my husband, not me. <laughs> 
you know, normally you have the flower girl. It caused a lot of trouble with my in-laws because I had these gorgeous, really gorgeous nieces that everyone was expecting would be flower girl. And they, so for me, I had my cousin, Wami Phillips, as my chief bridesmaid. She was also in Sonya and but theirs was hers was made of um, guinea brocade. That was our wedding chain. We didn't have anything to elaborate. We did everything in one day. We did the wedding ceremony that day. We did the engagement, the, uh, the traditional engagement that day. And then they came to pick me from the house that day. By the time we finished, I was exhausted. I was privileged to be the master of ceremony uh, that wedding. So uh, that's, that's one of the fondest memories I had. So I've, since then, he's what. He's always been my uncle Jay. I tease him a lot, and um, apart from sharing the stage with him, um, I've also shared uh, the silver screen with him. Uh, I've played his son, and, and it doesn't get better than that when you're starting out in this business, playing either alongside Uncle Lou Jacobs or playing his son. You know, so uh, those are memories that nothing can take away from me. He is a gentleman, you know, um, a family man, someone that, you know, puts his family first all times, regardless of what is in front of him. Something that he also showed me was that there are a certain type of men that were timeless. People like um, Morgan Freeman, of course, you know, Sidney Poitier, Marlon Brando, Al Pacino. And so these were strong male figures that whenever my father wasn't around, it was almost like they were a guide. He instilled etiquette into us as a family, into us, myself and my brother, a lot. He was just always picking out on sit up straight. Make sure you eat, make, make sure you eat with your, with your elbows off the table. Make sure you say excuse me before you do things. And that was actually a big issue between me and my father. I was used to always nodding and he kept him and my grandma kept on saying, are you a lizard? Why are you nodding? Things like that. He was always very particular about making sure that the way you present yourself is very important. And there's one particular incident that I remember. We were at the Olympics. And I remember going inside to get someone. And I was away for about 30 seconds. By the time I came back, there were this, was this crowd of people around him. And he was pinned down to the wall. And you could see that he was frightened. They were just excited to see him. There were about 15 of them. My brother was there and he was just covering his face because he knew that he wasn't comfortable at all. That my dad wasn't comfortable at all. So I just swooped in there and pulled him off. So a lot of times you can tell, I can tell when they don't mind having fans around. And there are times when I have to insist, you know, and I, I shove them aside, you know. So I found a way knowing that, okay, the fans like to see that, to actually be, be around them want to take one or two photographs so I look for, for the right timing and I gauge them but usually I'm not offensive to the fan you know I'm always very but if the fan is now you know like what's your own like who are you and that's when I say okay you're not doing anything go you're going you know <laughs> you know but yeah that's it the name Lufodo comes from Olu's family name they come from Ile Lufodo in Abeokuta and Lufodo means the originators, the beginners. We set up Lufodo whilst we were in England. And so once we'd finished the the TV series, once we got, you know, we got married soon after in 1985. And you know, in the December of 1986, of 1986, we, we did the first production of um of Holy Child. Holy Child was was a special was a special, special moment in, in my life, in my career. Um, yeah, it was a chance to share the stage with these great actors. And even more so was the fact that um, Aunt, uh, Aunt Itaiwo lost her husband in that period. I remember on the last day of the performance, and we had this wonderful performance. It was electrifying. When at the time we walked in, we, of course we knew we had gone to see him. Of course we knew he was ill at the time. And so every time she comes to rehearsal or to, to performance, we'll ask how is he. 
And I remember that day asking her, so how's, how's uh, Uncle Lysette? He says, oh, he's okay, the worst is over, you know. I, and I didn't process it. And we all stayed, we did our thing. And when we finished, rousing innovation, and she, she, she at the time, would drag me to the corner and said, uh, look, you're the man here. Um, Mr. Lysette died uh, earlier today, so I'm going to go and do, you know, some of the... Uh, things that I need to take off. I just need to come and finish the performance. <laughs> my legs, <laughs> my legs just gave me hand. She was like, you, that is a man you are falling down. <laughs> I was so stunned. It just, it just tells you the level of having goose flesh. It tells you the level of professionalism that, 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 that was on at that time. She had lost her husband a few hours before she came to that stage and killed it. I mean, um, I recall that thing and I still get goose flesh all the time. And of course, uh, because of my reaction, everybody now had to hear what had happened. She didn't want to spoil our celebration, you know, but what were we going to celebrate when that had happened to her? <laughs> I started coming three months, four months. I was coming. We were now doing tele movies as well. This was born out of uh, the Yoruba theater that showed every Sunday. Then, then people were sending these things uh, to England, were selling them. Well, means if we can't sell at home, we'll be able to sell abroad. I think it's about time we begin to settle down. And I told my agent, unless there's something absolutely fantastic, I don't want to know. Leave me, let me concentrate on Nigeria. I want to, I want, I want to live here. I want to work here. Home is where their heart is. It doesn't really matter uh, uh, what you're doing abroad and what people call success. If you don't have success, if, you don't, if you're not amongst your people to share this gift you think you have and start something, yeah. If he didn't come back home, most of us would not be what we are today. For him to have walked away from all of that international you know, stardom and come home, it can only be a man who is dedicated to his people, who is dedicated to his craft, who wants to give back to his people. But for people like Olu Jacob, I'm not sure Nollywood will have been easily acceptable to the viewing public. I will have attained the level he quickly attained because it was their intervention. In the, identification with this Nollywood that made it to be, we may be living in, in self-delusion or self-denial that they don't really matter. He didn't come to help Nollywood. He came to build Nollywood. He didn't come to help anything. We needed somebody like him to start something. So that's what he came to do. There are a lot of people today who are in this business because of him. And, and some of us who were privileged to, to, to learn from him, um, that's why we pay it forward. Yet, you failed to report the theft of your car and the fact that it was used. I got to know Olu Jacobs as um, an actor when we had the opportunity to do vigilante. We approached him. For somebody with his um, track record, with the kind of name that he had already established globally, 
one would have expected that it would be difficult approaching him to say, we want you to come and feature in our film. But we had no problems. He's the epitome of a good actor. His baritone voice, people look up to him for inspiration, for guidance. When you see him interacting on the set with actors, it's not just about throwing lines back and forth. It's about learning one or two things from him. <laughs> Without having had made it home here, mm. when Les told us our land. I've watched Uncle Lou Jacobs from when I was a kid till, and then I had an opportunity to work with him on the set of Oloibiri. Kulu is a thespian. He's right on time, never misses his cue, he never misses his lines. And most, most important, he's always ready to help young actors. If he, if he listens to you, like a jogger would do it, she does it most times. She like this pronunciation, you know, very, very important diction pronunciation. And he would listen to you, you rehearse, and then before you go on set, he'll say like, why don't you try it this way? Or read it back to me. That's someone who cares about you, who cares about the body of work that we're about to put out so that there are no issues and that you're not coming off short. It is not right in all situations. It's not right. Yeah? I feel glad when I'm working with him because he carries the fatherly aura from the house into the production. And immediately he enters, he becomes the father of everyone, junior artist, senior artist, not because he's because of his status, no, but because of the way he handles issues on set and things like that. Surprisingly for me, I don't think I really realized the importance of Olu Jacob until I was outside of this country. I was somewhere in uh, Sierra Leone, so we were at the airport, and I sat down with some Nigerian who were, Sierra Leone were just coming out of civil war, and so we were there to help them with some of their documents. and. We were all almost like stranded at the airport. So we're sitting down there. We didn't even know that Olu Joko was sitting in another room there until we, were, we started getting agitated. And they said, no, you, some of you are making complaints. There's a big man here who is not even making any noise and go. And then they ushered us into a room and there was Olu Joko. And the moment all the passengers who were probably stranded, saw this man. It's like the whole of Sierra Leone came to a standstill. We're indeed proud to be part of his story, taking his work to the rest of Africa and the world. His career began with an undying passion for film that brought him back to Nigeria to support the industry in its formative years. What we enjoy today as Nollywood is a product of the endless service of an icon such as Olu Jacobs. With an enviable career spanning over 50 years, he's a pillar in the Africa film industry whose influence transcends generations. This is a building that the foundation stone was laid in 1887 on land that was given to the community by Madame Tudubu, the Iyasale of Lagos at the time. She was an incredible entrepreneur. And, you know, and she just had one caveat that whatever was built on it should be named after John Glover. The building was named after John Glover, Glover Memorial Hall. It was brought down in the early 60s, late 59, early 60s, and then this new this new structure was put on again on that same foundation. So it's gone through three refurbishments. This is the third refurbishment, which Lagos State did. What Lagos State has done here is, is you know, incredible. It's a theater that is fit for purpose. It's been built for the comfort of the performer. There was a memory in the minds of people when you were looking for theater makers. You would always include a Rufodu amongst that group. 
Governor Ambody said they were building all these theaters and they would like to include Glover Memorial in one as part of this group of theaters that they were some they were building newly. This one they would refurbish and say, fine. Winning the bid for Glover Memorial Hall is like everything has come together, you know. We have our own space where we can make theater a part of the conversation in nation building. And a place like Glover, a historical site for us, we always look at ourselves as gatekeepers, as protectors of the arts. In Lufodo, you know, they're the originators. That's where it came from. And we want to protect society through the arts. And so the logo that we have, it's a lion head. The lion protects. And that has always been, you know, my focus. And so here, this concession is huge strategically for Nigeria because we feel that we will affect, it's not just about what it's going to do people receiving, but what we're going to take out and how we're going to affect, you know, theater, film, fashion, stand-up comedy, music, and just, you know, heritage in general. So it's heritage, enterprise, and culture. And that is a fundamental building block of any nation. The actors act. My friend, my brother, and fellow thespian. Elie Jacobs is a blessing to the film and TV industry in Nigeria and globally. As we celebrate him, we reflect on his impact in the industry with gratitude and respect. Thank you for building the foundation of our industry and setting the pace with your career. And from all of us at MultiChoice, we're wishing you a very happy birthday. Whatever it is we've done behind us counts for where we are. Where we are, he should be very, he should be very proud of himself that at 80, he has this body of work and experience and knowledge of him that's so admirable. This is not just talk, it's real. Be proud, my love, be proud of yourself. It's been a journey and you've been, you have been victorious. You have tamed the beast. Oh, no, happy birthday. Have peace. You know, you have always been oh, even older than me. But you now know I'm 83, you are 80. So I'm now welcoming you to our age group. And I assure you, it's a good place to enjoy. Have peace of mind, Olu. Uncle Jay, happy, happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday. Uh, to be alive uh, in this time where our art, where all the things, you're coming back home, your dedication, your humility uh, to learn to lend your stardom to, to, to Nollywood even before it became Nollywood to lend your stardom to, to the stage has just been a, a blessing and uh, in blessing us we we'll bless you back and we ask that God will keep you even longer. Ego, this is Ladi, your favorite producer, saying happy birthday to you. 80 at chess. You have proved that um, what is worth doing is, is really worth doing well. And I thank you for, for selecting this craft and this art and this industry because definitely the industry is much, much better off for having had somebody like you. I love you. It is fitting that this incredible legacy this incredible dynamic man of legacy has come together with a building of legacy i think it is fitting and so i say happy birthday Ola. happy 80th we present the lifetime achievement award to oludotu Bayewu. Jacobs, who we all know as Olu Jacobs.
it's it's an honor to look after him. It's an honor. Keep the applause going again. Keep the applause. Make it louder. Make it louder. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. So I watched that documentary. And where is... Um, Can we take our seats, please? I watched the documentary, and there was one part of the documentary that was not very clear, and the journalists were asking to be clear. They were asking that they needed clearance. Um, um, Auntie Joker? Auntie Joker, um, there was part of the documentary when they were interviewing you. You said, because that's the part that the journalists didn't get. You sit down, sit down. You, you said, you said, by the, I don't know what the conversation was, but you said, by the time he was finished with me, I was exhausted. What? Was it? Okay, what did she say? Oh, by the time, what, what? Okay, by the time he finished in the early day. Okay, I thought you said by the time he was finished with you, you were exhausted. Uh, so the journalist, you, you are clear. So I need to <laughs> I need to take you back a few. Ah, Excellency, welcome, sir. Now these names that I'm going to mention. You will remember them and understand this story that I want to tell you. Lai Arasomi, Dr. Marino, that's the guy that used to work with Alaji, Tunde Oloyede, Steve Rhodes. So there used to be a place called Alliance Francais along Kingsway Road. And they used to have productions. And so there was this time. They had this, I, I don't know if you remember that Makosa music was raining at a particular time in Nigeria. And so they brought these ladies that were dancing. And so what happens is that the, it's like a, a, a touch, this thing roof like that. So they were performing inside the hall, open hall. And I was walking around looking for a vantage point. And so I came around and saw one place that was open. Apparently, these people that I mentioned their names, Steve Rhodes, Tunde Oloyede, Dr. Marino, Olu Jacobs, and Lyra Somi were standing on one line, enjoying the show. I didn't know. I just saw that the place was open. So I came and stood <laughs> in between them and these girls that were dancing. So after a while, I just heard slaps from different points. So I turned around and I saw Parod, Lyara saw me, and I said, I was like, ah, I'm walking in the area for our womb, I'm going to go to the womb, I'm going to go to And I was looking at these people, I'm like, this is a boss. Ladies and gentlemen, these people that I mentioned, and my eggbones and my daddies and this one. But every time I saw them back then, especially with Steve Rhodes, they level with you as if you're one of them. 
National Theatre Abegi, sometimes here in the office here, or if you met them at Lyara Somi's office, they did not have any problem relating with you and teaching you the ropes. Um, one, of their, one of their friends then was uh, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson was an NTA, yes. Uh, um, he had this hair that, okay, Uncle Peter is nodding as well. And he will, every time I tell him, I saw a guy comb this hair well, he said, How, what, is he affecting your performance? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in celebrating this man, this icon, this institution, I would want everyone, everyone to make sure that you tag this event. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's, um, should, we, should we do Olu Jacobs at 80? Olu Jacobs at 80? Please tag your post on Instagram. Olu Jacobs at 80, so that we can repost all of them and find all the pictures, please. Olu Jacobs at the hashtag Olu Jacobs at 80. Um, for those of you who are on Instagram. And also for those of you who are on Facebook, especially those above 60. <laughs> uh, we'll create a WhatsApp group for you. Apparently, a lot of you function better in WhatsApp groups. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, celebrating this man here, uh, there was some time in um, 2007, I had an event center called Excusez-moi. This is to tell you the story about him being a family man. So Soji and Benga came to watch a performance. And so, I don't know where Soji went. And so Auntie Joke came back looking for Soji. And she was like, I'm looking for my son. Apparently, Soji had left with some people. So she thought that Soji would have gone home. So she went home. <laughs> when she got home, Olu Jacob said, Where is Soji? He said they said he was a, he said omalo muwa to ba rimakpa da wale yo so and joke came back to excuse me and said my bosh of we my bosh of him be e wa o mo mi wa so i said a friend had take a friend wo and she closed the gate and then somebody now called and said soji was with them and she called home and told him he said i don't want phone call him bring him let me see him man to man. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the kind of person that Olu Jacobs is. He takes care of his family. Please give him another round of applause. And gathered here today are people from broadcasting, people from the theater, the movies, journalists, writers, bankers and even politics um, there is um, there's a former dj that became a governor that is here as well um Aresh Shoba. but uh, please 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 it's okay uh, mommy everyone uh, yeah, please give him a round of applause um, we we thank all of you there's also a former first lady here um we with a, a former deputy governor i mean former deputy governor and then there's a first lady thank you all please give them a round of applause i i've been told that it is going to be difficult to recognize everyone and so that i should do that blanket recognition and say all the people in academia all the people in uh, the creative industry, those of you who are in production, those of you who are professional actors uh, that are gathered here, and everyone that you have seen on, um, on TV, on the screen celebrating him, I will welcome all of you and thank you so much. Um, we're going to go, just a minute. I had an expo with me just now.
All right. So ladies and gentlemen, at this point, uh, it will be time to cut the cake. But I've been told that for the cutting of the cake, we cannot have more than 10 people at the same time stand by the cake when we want to cut the cake. Can I have Funke Buckner, please? Send your people, please, so that we can move the cake to the center. Find your people so we can move it to the center. I was going to rush the cutting of the cake because we cannot have the celebrant stand for too long so he can sit back and enjoy this. So to just move it to the middle of the 80. Go forward a bit, go forward. Middle of the 80, please. That will do, that's okay. All right, we'd like to have the young man that is celebrating 80 step forward. Auntie Joke, where's Auntie Joke? So first pictures will be the young man alone with his cake and then we'll then have him with his wife and we'll have with his uh, children and then we'll then begin to have with, um, with his excellencies and her excellencies. We'll have with their excellencies and would. Photographers, I think you should take those chairs out of there so you can have space to move back, please. Take the chairs from there. Where's Soji? Funke. All right. Uh Auntie Joke, stand to his right, uh, his left, yeah, please, thank you. Move him, let him stay, no, no, you stand on this side. He's your right hand man, so, so stand, okay, yeah, so that way. So move him closer to the other side. And so hold the knife. Photographers, are you good? I'd now like to invite the first lady to please come join, please.
First Lady and the former Deputy uh, Governor, and of course, uh, uh, Are Oshoba and his wife, please. You can take a step back now, sir. They can take a step back because of the depth of field. Please, sir. So the. Photographers, are you okay? If you did not bring a wide angle, like, sorry. Oh. Thank you very much. Can we have one with just this birthday boy, please? Let's just have only the celebrant, please. Only the celebrant. Only the celebrant, please. Only the celebrant, the celebrant we just hold the knife and let me just hold the knife i will take that quickly and then he can go to his seat please. okay just step aside just step aside Alrighty, guys. The happy birthday song. Everyone stand up, please. Everyone stand on your feet for the happy birthday song. So, Auntie Joker, the rest is yours. Get exhausted. Come on. 
thank you because we couldn't have him standing here for too long um if you want to take some pictures with him would we'll advise that you go to where he's seated and uh, we can do it in twos uh while he's seated you can then go there and take pictures with him and then go back to your seats because we couldn't do it and have him standing here for that long all right please Loud.
Tell you my own name yeah. When you reach to buy me fine thing You all are right at you yeah. And if I tell you to make you do me better Try on the sand And if I tell you no like keep plenty more Boy, Show me say you feel shake your body Thank you. Oh, loud, go. Oh, loud. Uh, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Actors Guild, the constituency that uh, the institution of Ulu Jacobs that we're celebrating today comes from, have a presentation. And. Uh, Uh, before the Actors Guild presentation, the board of Glover Memorial would like to have you take a picture with uh, with the celebrant. And we welcome His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ekiti State. Dr. Fayemi, welcome, sir. The board. Can the board members of GMC mm. 
the board members of Glover Memorial would like to have a picture, would like you to have a picture with the celebrant. Mm -hmm. Times that we share forever, baby. I cannot understand how we ever let things get so bad. I shouldn't have let you go. Let you out of my sight, baby. Thank you. So we'll now, are we done? Actors Guild, please. Actors Guild. Actors Guild. Where is uh, Rogers? Emeka? The Actors Guild will do the presentation. And after that, we'll begin to take um, members of, um, of uh, we'll begin to take thespians. And uh, I think the broadcasters would also want to have their pictures as well. Lesbians, please. Let's actors guild. Can we take the picture quickly and do the presentation? Please let's let's have the actors guild take their pictures, make the presentation so that we can go on to the other part of the program. Zuki. Okay, I think you're, when you finish that picture, you're going to come here and represent uh, Uncle so that we can take group pictures, please. 
So we can have more people take pictures, please. After the Actors Guild presentation, we'll have uh, Auntie Joker step forward so we can have pictures here. There's a special performance of the band that is coming up shortly. I need to get all this out of the way first. Hold on, hold on, Iriti. One day we'll be together again. I can't wait to see that. Okay, so that we can have a bigger picture. Can you come with Auntie Joker now to this point here, please? You guys, come, come forward, come forward. Uh, ego. All of you, we need to take a picture here. Kule, yes, they're coming forward. Kule, Kule, we're taking a picture with the thespians, please. Thespians. Uh, Apako, no bad. Charles Novia, we're taking a picture here. Where's Auntie Joker? All thespians, please. Thespians. Uh, where is uh, Tintin? Auntie Ty Mommy, Mommy Tyro, where is he? All right. Why is that okay? Toy, Toy, I'm not where you. Toy, come, 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 come. All actors, all actors that are in the hall, we're taking this picture now, please. All actors, please. You are, you are producer, you are executive producer. You are not an actor, executive producer. Oh. Hey, photographers, hey. come move back a bit like. Uh, come, move back, move back, move back, like, move back. Wait. Hey, so be, so be, go, go down, go down. Are we good? Are we okay? Anshala, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anshala, come here. We need lights. We need more lights here. Come. Come and brighten. Come and brighten up this area. Mixer, I can't hear the conga. Mixer. All 
All right. How we good? Why you say? Okay. I okay. I okay. I I think. Okay, she's coming now. She's coming. She's coming. No run, no run. So you are not exhausted. It's okay, it's not your birthday, stop shouting. I do it well, I do it well, I do it well, you want it wrong, you want it wrong, you want it wrong, you want it wrong. Bass, bass, bass line. Cut, 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 cut. Oh yeah, malo, 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 malo. Cut, eh, malo. Aha. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, Um, and the rest of them will want you to take your pictures now. So, Uncle Sonny, Auntie Joke, the pictures. <laughs> I don't know what you Oh. 
All right. Well, we have a special performance. Can we have that now, please? The special performance. Special performance with drums and uh, and uh, the whole ensemble, right? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, these guys are going to take over the stage for like 20 minutes. If we're ready, let's go.
never looks for praises. He's never one to boast. He just goes on walking silently for those he loves the most. In good or bad times, a firm hand for us to hold on to when times are good or bad. One of the greatest blessings is the firm foundation that we can point to and call our dad. Oludotu Bayeu Shodibeti Jacobs Oluo Oludotu Omo Olumo Bayeu Oluwori Ajoke Olu Oludotu Bayeu Shodibeti Jacobs Akonini Jebe O kilo lu lo ba eye O lu feri mi O lu lo ba Baba o lu soji Baba o lu benga Kari akba ye lo lu do tu ti ba yi Bo o lo sa jo O lu ni O mo ara ke mo jo O mo jo be ru mo jo be ko O lu
living shall not be in vain. Then my living shall not be in vain. Oh, my living shall not be in vain. If I could help somebody while I'm sitting. Uh, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, would like to hear from um, Soji. I think uh, 
Só de... Só de... Só de... Hello? Can you hear me? Go to the other side, let that carry. Hello, Uncle Ali, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. I think uh, Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for gracing this amazing event, celebrating Ulu Jacobs at 80. Can you hear me, Ali? Uncle Ali? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I think I think there's a bit of. Go to the living room. I think there's a there's a little bit of a delay. Um, so uh, thank you so much, everyone, once again, and happy birthday, Dad, from from the. From the Jacobs clan, Atara sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy no, birthday to you. Grandpa. Happy birthday to Grandpa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Grandpa. Come on now. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I'll give you time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Soji. Ajabota. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You have anything to say, Hata? <laughs> say happy birthday, yeah. Grandpa. Happy birthday. Good happy job. Birthday. Yeah. If it were if it were us in those days, when they pinch you, you will say happy birthday. They will pinch you. <laughs> yeah, I'm begging you to say happy birthday. All right. Uh, All right. Thank you. A little bit of a delay. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're behind, we're behind by three hours. Happy birthday, Dad. Okay. Happy birthday. Yes, it looks a bit delay. You can hear it. We have a poetry performance. If we settle in, we also have a movie that we want to show. Anti jokes, you are supposed to make a speech now. Emma Babai. Anti joker, Emma Bo.
for you. Dead center. Charlie, he said he brought the mic down to my level. We thank God. Some of us that are vertically challenged. Thank you, everybody. I'm just going to make I'm going to make a, sh a short speech. Um, it's not a speech at the end of which we go. You go at the end of this speech. We all start dancing. But I need to make this speech before the birthday boy leaves oh my boy i hope you are having a good time that's my nickname for him oh my boy so <clears throat> um so many of the people i would have liked to thank right now have left but this is being streamed live so they'll know that the thank you has gone far and wide. The first person I'd like to thank is the governor of Lagos State, uh, Babajide Sonwolu. I thank him on many fronts. I thank him because there was a time when things were just so hard and I needed to pay quite a bit of money to the Lagos state government. And I called him and I said, sir, I know I have to pay this money, but sir, I can't afford it. I, I can't afford it. So sir, please, what can I pay? I beg you, I have bills uncountable. Help me. And he helped me. He did. He just slashed it by so many. Hmm, I can't say so that other people don't go and start asking him and telling you, help me, help me. But he helped me. And then um, our school, the Lufodo Academy of Performing Arts, had been closed down for, I mean, since, 19, uh, since 2017 was the last training that we did. And then we were kind of gathering all the resources together to start again. And we finally got a place at the city hall. And my darling sister, Lero Aida, through the education hub, gave us all kinds of equipment to the tune of about 12 million naira. So we were set up. The following weekend, we were going to announce to everybody that Lapa is back. Everybody, please, you know, start applying for training. <clears throat> and then, Saz, Apun. Says, not the protest, but the riots, and they wiped us out. 
They took every single ounce of equipment. They broke every single toilet. They broke everything. There was no way we could start again. We had just paid two years rent. And so I called governor again. I said, sir, help me. <laughs> and he sent back my rent of two years. He did that. Governor Sawonolu, thank you. Thank you. Thank you also that when it was time to bid for this place, one of our board members said, the way this whole thing is going, everybody wants Glover Memorial Hall. Let's have an open bid. So we did. We had an open bid and he set it up. It was all fair and square. Lufodo Productions won this theater, fair and square. But the only way we could have won it was because of a strategic relationship that we had. And that was CUC. CUC Consulting with Ifi Moye and my dear Spec. There were many times when we started the relationship that they wanted to walk away. These people, we don't understand them. These creative people, do they know what they are doing? We don't understand process. We don't understand clinical. All of our own is done. Let us do play and go. What's all this process, process, process? But they stuck with us. And it was because of them that we won this bid. The other sides were just as artistic. But my co CEO, Ifi Monye, and her darling husband, Mr. Monye, president to be at some point. Please, can you both rise? Thank you for a standing ovation. My co CEO, thank you very much. And then there was a, there was a incredible person who, may helped us to navigate all the legal tra la 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 of the whole of the whole thing up to the point that one of our one of the people who have who has rented the space one of our spaces for three years the only reason why she could get financing was because his company had done us the kind of deal they had set up the agreement there is no way come rain come shine there's no way you can now decide that you are going to break that agreement and that's mr bingo your body god bless you i look i know your body were at our disposal and they just, there was a time when the thing was getting so difficult. Bolanle or Steve Peter's nose, the whole thing was getting so difficult. He said, my sister, you can't throw this kind of nuclear bomb. Oh. You will lose the whole thing. Just calm down, calm, calm, breathe. And I breathed. And so it has a happy ending. We own this space. And this is a space that all of you can come, have your parties, have your meetings, have whatever you like. There's so much that you can do here. And this place, we've been chasing it for years. My sister, who is on the board, Chief Mrs. Taiwo Taiwo, we were next door at the Nigerian Stock Exchange having a meeting with them and telling them that we want to take over this place. We want to refurbish it. We want to own it. Everything, everything. We were speaking all the 20. And they said, yes. And then Governor Ambode said, I will refurbish it. And we said, excellent. As soon as you finish the refurbishment, we are here. And we, have, we are here indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go through a whole list of thank yous. But there's one that's very special to my heart because I know that this wouldn't have been possible without her consent. My darling sister, Toyin Olawoye, I love you. I love you. I love you. Toyin Oshie, thank you. 
Thank you so much. And you know why. Thank you, my darling. Um, and then there's another lovely lady. I'm not sure she's here. Um, I know her sister is here. Amiola is here, so she will take the message back to her. Like I said, the school had been taking forever to get started. And well, but in the next couple of months, we will start again. And that's because of one of my sisters, Mobola Johnson. When Christopher Ma Mack was coming to, had come again to Nigeria and wanted to work, they told him to whoever Mobola Johnson tells you to work with, work with that person. And Mobola said, ah, the people that I know that have been in this place, they are pentagons in the business, is the Jacobs. My sister, Joke Jacobs, is there. And because of her, we, we have gotten this incredible partnership with Netflix. We start in September. We start the training of actors. That's our, that's our space, training of actors. That's where we specialize. We start in September. And our, and our training is rigorous, and it will be for nine months. And we will only take um, graduates of performing arts who studied acting. So again, Mobola Johnson, oh, Simbi Elede Wambi. Had it not been for you, we probably wouldn't have gotten our leg in the door. Thank you, my darling. Now, a lot of people don't thank the MCs. Ali Baba, when I called Ali Baba, I said, Ali Baba, please come and be the MC of this. He said, eh, how much must I pay you for the privilege? And I thought, how kind. How kind. Ali Baba, thank you. God bless you for me. For all of you who have seen the documentary, that was a documentary done with so much love and so much care. That documentary was done with all heart. Mr. Femi Odubemi, Olong Ake, thank you. That was a really honoring documentary. And to all those who were in that documentary, Uncle Ted, Auntie Taiwa Jai Laiset, Professor Yerima, Uncle um, RMD, <laughs> My co-wife, she's the wife on the screen, I'm the wife in real life, Patience Ozoko. Ketensho, my darling, jam man. Falabi Adesoya, John Ube. Thank you all. Thank you all for giving up so much of your time just to be able to be part of the documentary. And my darling sister, Bimbo Oluyede, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then there's some people who have made today possible. And I thank Union Bank for parking space. We're partnering with them. I thank Agatha Amata. Agatha, you're yeah, 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 an area girl. Aguda. Aguda. Aguda kept saying, Agatha kept saying, Auntie Joke, what can I do for you? Auntie Joke, what can I do for you? Use me, use me, use me. When I did answer her, she just brought every single press that she could think of. Press, red, red, okay. Okay, I say it's all right. Thank you. Agatha, you're wonderful. Thank you. Um, Oludara Egaten Shingo for handling that, uh, for, for handling the red carpet. Thank you. Women's Radio, thank you. But your thank you will come about two weeks from now when people know what it is that you did for me. God bless you, my sister. Now, there are some ladies. I hope they are still here. One of them, that's where I actually started. I went to one of my sisters. Her name is Munisho Nibare. I was quaking and I was shaking. I said, Sister Mimoni, I have this room in my space. I'm wanting to do the furniture, but I'm not have money. Please help me. And she did. So I have a room here, all furnished by IO Furniture, gratis. So that gave me confidence. So I went to DO2 and I said, darling, sweetie, if there you are, please, I have a room. I need it to be furnished. 
place. She said, uh uh, my sister, for you, anything. And now we have a green room that is totally. Anybody who was here two weeks ago and was eating groundnut and banana on chairs and come and see the room now. <laughs> excuse me. Even Queen Elizabeth will say, excuse me. What is this? What is this? Whoa. Thank you. Deal too. Thank you. It wasn't hard at all. You're a wonderful person. And then when my, when my board for parking, hmm, when my board, they want to, they want to show me Pepe, but me too, I showed them that me too, I'm area gay. But at the end of the day, we came to an understanding. And so we have multi-level car parking just two minutes away from here, courtesy of Wema Board. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all that you have done. We have many partnerships in the offing. We're looking forward to all of them concretizing. Um, and this is, I know I have so many more thanks you to, thank yous to do. If I've missed you out, forgive me. It wasn't intentional. But my final thank you, and it has to be, because it's the most special, is to each and every single one of you for coming here and for celebrating with us as a family, for celebrating with my Omo boy, who is now 80. He's a credo snatcher. I tell them that he's a credo snatcher. Yes. But he has been an amazing, amazing, amazing 37 years with you, my darling. This is 80 years. Oluwafuani many more. And you will get stronger, my darling. You will enjoy the winter just as you enjoyed the spring, the summer, the autumn. You will enjoy the winter. And to my God, the Father Almighty, the one and only. Ah! Modupe, Moria Nuba, Modupe, Moria Nuba, Tori Kishibo, when you're Doria Nuba, or Rodi, whichever God, Kashama, to bed, to bed, Kashama, to bed, to bed, Aromi, oh God, bed, or where, where, Kashama, to bed, to bed, Kashama, to bed, to bed, Kashama. Now the dancing can begin. Hey. Before the band takes off, uh, we're going to have the dance here. We're going to have the dance. The band will supply the music so that we can have uh, the celebratory dance. But before that, remember that uh, on the first floor, the photo exhibition is there. For those of you whose pictures are there, I would like you to please go take a picture of yourself on the wall of fame. Stand by your photos and take pictures. If your picture is low, lie on the ground and take a picture. Okay, but make sure you take your pictures. Uh, the pictures are of uh, the first batch of pictures that will be on those walls in celebration of everyone that is uh, making, a, uh, making a statement in the industry, the creative industry. Your pictures are there. So we'd like you to please go up one floor and uh, please take the picture. You can take the stairs if your legs are strong enough or take the lift. All right. Uh, the Bini people can go by air. Okay. Wait. 
<laughs> la la la. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Let's dance. All right, so we're thinking of the kind of song we should play that will be close to your era. We don't know whether to do whiskey or do resloxing. Those in favor of resloxing say aye. Those in favor of um, Bonner Boy say aye. You are, you are, you are resloxing. You are resloxing. Get, 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 see that. All right, so let's do high life. High life. Jacobs at 80. Congratulations, sir. Hey, ya bo mi sam sawale. O sawale. Ya bo mi sam sawale. Ya bo mi sam sawale. Ya bo mi sam sawale. O sawale. Yabo mi sam sawale, yabo mi sam sawale. If you fight, I'm run away. Now me and you go fight again. If you fight, I'm run away. Now me and you go fight again. Umale, 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 umale. Umale, 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 Joey, I think you're a boy. Oh, that don't go for a moment. Lati Joey, I think you're a boy. Oh, that don't go for a moment. Yabomi, Zawale, Yabomi, Sans, Zawale. 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 Oh, 
Alafia Logorio, what fifu me, oh Baba. Alafia Logorio, what fifu me, oh Baba. Run a vessel, Jayi Reo Reo, aye. Run a vessel, Jayi Reo Reo, aye. Aye, Logorio, ni olosa, aye. Run a vessel, Jayi Reo Reo, aye. Run a vessel, Pakosho, aye. I 
masi kolona mueda o oya mi lowa oluwa lowa ayi masi kolona mueda o oya mi lowa oluwa lowa esha mi akira yo kara ye makoba wa
Live in effect, and I don't waste time on the mic with a dope rhyme. Jump to the rhythm, jump, jump to the rhythm, jump. And I'm here to combine beats and lyrics to make you shake the pants, take a chance. Come on and dance, guys. Grab a girl, don't wait, make a twirl. It's your world, and I'm just a squirrel. Trying to get a nut to move your butt to the dance floor. So, yo, what's up? Hands in the air. Come on, say yeah. Everybody over here, everybody over there. The crowd is live, and I'm a fool. This fool. Party people in the house, move.
Now I understand myself. Without 